gonna do a May favorites video for you. Because it is the end of May, which obviously means May favorites. Duh. I'm gonna start. Okay, um, my first favorite of the month is the Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay, and it is just basically the best eyeshadow palette ever. How do you cover that easily? <laughs> and <laughs> just cover the entire mirror. But it is just the best eyeshadow palette, and I pretty much just use it every single day. It's just, it's just a beautiful palette, and I, I love it. I use naked one palette every day, too. Twins. So, she, Sarah got me this, like, ten minutes ago, and it's the London Calling Tea and Lemon Kindle from Bath and Body Works, and to her, it smells like lemonade. lemonade. It smells like to, lemonade. To me, it smells like tea and lemons, but it smells really good. I'm going to be burning it all the time. Okay, um, my next fav two favorites, they go together, and I recently ordered a, like, sampler from Michael Todd of just their stuff, because I wanted to try it, because everyone on YouTube pretty much talks about it all the time. Really so, my two favorites from it are the Charcoal Detox Cleanser and the Kaolin Clay Facial Mask, Detoxifying Facial Mask, sorry. Um, this cleanser, I really love it because the cleanser I was using was really drying out my skin. This one does not dry my, out my skin at all, which is very nice because we live in Colorado, so it is very dry here. And then this, I've only used a couple times, so I'm not positively sure, but it feels really cool when you put it on, and if your face feels really nice when it, you wash it off. So I'm just going to keep using this, and I really like it. My next one, my hair is really picky with dry shampoos. So when I use it the first time, I know like if it's good or not. And I got the Batiste um, like mini one from Ulta, and it's the cherry flavor. And this stuff is like powerful when it comes out. It's just like <laughs> BAM! It smells really good, and it actually really works, and I really like it. My next favorite is one I just got recently. And I was never really into blush, so I decided I'm gonna get into blush. <laughs> so <laughs> I got the <laughs> it happens. I got the Real Techniques Real Techniques blush brush, which is really hard to say <laughs> blush <laughs> bl <laughs> blush brush. And I really like it so far. It's like it's really soft and easy to use. I've had this for a while, but I <laughs> don't laugh at it. it kind of broke, so I had to tape the top part of it so that stuff wouldn't. Hit it. Oh, and actually part of it came off. I am recently getting back into cream blush because the, the weather is getting warmer and stuff, and I love the NYX ones. This is in Glow, and it's just glowy. <laughs> wow. Really? Okay, it's like a darker pink color. You have to be careful with it because if you just put it on, it's just too much. Um, my next favorite is the Maybelline June Fresh BB Cream. Maybelline. Maybelline. Sorry, Maybelline. Okay. She's been saying Maybelline. All, Maybelline. Um, all. And I've never used a BB cream because I don't like usually putting stuff on my face. Like I don't like foundation, so I don't use it. But I figured I should try BB cream since they're way lighter. And I've been using this, and I really like it because it really just like smooths out your skin tone, and you can't feel it on your face. So. I tried the tart one, broke me up. Might try that. We'll see. <laughs> so this is also something that Sarah just gave to me. I'm awesome. Um, it is a headband wrap thing. kind of thing. You know what I'm talking about. It has about. a wire in it. Yes. Fancy. So yeah, it's very fancy. But it's the one that Taylor Swift wore in her 22 yeah. music video. And I'm wearing it to her concert on Sunday. Yay! My next favorite is something I... Be got because of you. Um, and it is the Soap and Glory hand food. And my hands get really dry because, again, we live in Colorado and it's super dry here and there's no moisture in the air at all. I don't usually like using like lotion on my hands because I don't like feeling greasy. But this is awesome and it smells amazing and it doesn't leave <laughs> your hands greasy at all and I'm kind of obsessed with it. So one of my favorites is the Nivea Lip Butter and Caramel Cream Kiss and it smells amazing, and I pretty much just use it every night after I brush my teeth, and I wake up and my lips aren't dry all. So I'm at, I've been in love with high waisted shorts for forever, but <laughs> I finally have some, and my favorite ones are from Forever Twenty One. They have like a zipper on the side. Yay! Yay. I like and they're just the perfect high waisted shorts. They have, go up perfectly, and I love wearing them with like crop tops.
Uh, my next favorite is a nail polish. No one is surprised, but um, oh my it's, gosh. Sarah has nail polish. What? It's Soria Blue, and it's currently on my nails right now, and it is just like the perfect super light blue, and I've been looking for a color like this for forever, and it's just so pretty on, especially for like summer and spring, and I just love it. And I've gotten a lot of compliments on it, so that means other people love it too, which is cool. So, I'm in love with tea. Love. It's true, we both love tea. Yeah. My go-to tea of the month is by Tivana, and it's the Ruibos Tropica, and it tastes... It's delicious. It tastes like... Tropical. Yeah. -ness. <laughs> <laughs> my next favorite is the Benefit Their Real Mascara, and I just got this recently actually. It came in my little like birthday set from Sephora, and so I've only used it a couple times, but so far I really like it. I really like what it does to my lashes, I guess. I know you don't like it, right? It's okay. I yeah. prefer my Tarte mascara. But so far I really like this, and this is my favorite mascara of the moment. So I've been really into cutting my t-shirts this month, and <laughs> I've been going off of Steela Babe's video on cutting t-shirts. I just cut a t-shirt last night, and now we have twin cut Batman t-shirts with hearts in the back. And they're really cute, and we can insert pictures right here. My next favorite is the pink sweet and flirty body mist, and oh my god. This stuff is delicious. I am obsessed with it, and I actually, all of Pink's body mists smell amazing, but this is definitely my favorite one. It is, what is, does it say? Um, sugar berry and pink grapefruit, and that just smells, smells, sounds delicious in itself. Um, so another one, I'm wearing it again, but it's this cross necklace. It is just like, I got it for, um, graduation from my cousins and my aunt and uncle, and I just enjoy it. It has special yeah. value. Yeah. That's a mental? Like, yes. That's, okay. Um, my next favorite is Market Peach by Bath and Body Works. And I to get that. This is my second one of these. I like it in this little thing because they're adorable in this little mason jar like thing. I love burning it in my room because it makes my room smell like a market. A really random favorite I have is my tissue box and it's a pig and look how cute it is. Look at the little piglet. Oh my god, it has a tail on the back. I I get so happy when I see this in my bathroom. I just, I love it a lot. Water. <laughs> You're so weird. Definitely spilled that on me too. <laughs> and then my two favorite movies. I, still in theaters, so I don't have them with me, but it's um, Star Trek Into Darkness, and oh my god, I love Star Trek. I love any sci-fi movies, and I have been waiting so long for this, and it definitely did not disappoint. And just the acting is so good, and Benedict Cumberbatch, oh my god. I mean, I've already loved him because of Sherlock, <laughs> but... It does. <laughs> and then my second favorite is The Great Gatsby, and that is like my favorite book pretty much of all time. Um, mm. And like I've been really excited for this movie, and I know it like didn't always get that good reviews, but I don't know. I loved, I loved it, it, and like for what I expected, it was perfect. And I've been waiting so long for it to come out that it was just satisfying to finally get to and watch it. And it followed the book exactly. Yeah. And Leo was perfect. Leo is always perfect. <sighs> I have two favorite movies of the month: um, Lilo and Stitch, and How to Train Your Dragon. <laughs> so I got Lilo and Stitch yesterday for my birthday. But and it's always been one of my favorite Disney movies, but I never actually owned it. And if you know me, I am a Disney fanatic. And I'm very excited, and I watched it like three times yesterday and today. Okay. And then I have How to Train Your Dragon. It's fun. I've actually had this for months, and I never actually opened it Wait until this month. Wait a minute. Which is really strange, because it is one of my favorite movies. It, it's perfect. Like, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. It, it has some of the best lines ever. Okay, I'm gonna watch it. I have two favorite songs. One of them is Heartbreak Girl by Five Seconds of Summer. Love that song, keep it up, play it on repeat. <laughs> and then my other one is Heart Attack by Demi Lovato. I like heart songs apparently this month, <laughs> but both of them, I just like wanna play on repeat and I'm just, just rocking out in the car, people staring at me, it's okay. Demi's whole <laughs> album is like flawless. Okay, um, I have a favorite album and a favorite song. My favorite album is Modern Vampires of the City by Vampire Weekend. Modern Vampires of the City, I don't even know if you can see that. But it is just, oh my god, I love Vampire Weekend and 
I was so excited for this to come out. Um, my favorite two songs are probably Unbelievers and Diane Young because, I don't know, they're really catchy and fun to listen to. And my favorite song is Brave by Sarah Bareilles. And I have been obsessed with Sarah Bareilles for like the longest time. And I saw her in concert this month, actually. I met her and like died a little bit. It was, man, seeing it live too was like so good. And it's just such a catchy song. And it's so Sarah Bareilles that I love Sarah Bareilles. My favorite TV show of the month is Arrested Development. And um, I watched like half of the first season um, a year or so ago. But for some reason, I never finished it because I saw I was watching it when my brother was in town, but then he left, and I don't know. I never kept up with it. This season it just came out on Netflix, obviously, so I was like, okay, I need to catch up. So I've been watching that a lot, and I've just been watching a couple episodes a day because I've been kind of busy. But it is just it's so funny and it's so dumb, but it has such like flawless lines and characters are just hilarious, and I it's funny. <laughs> my favorite TV show, if any, would definitely va be Vampire Diaries, oh the season finale this month. The season finale! Sorry. We're not allowed to talk about this because mm, it's just... No, it's too emotional. Okay, and then our last favorite is a favorite for both of us, and we just graduated... Ten days ago, actually. From the 21st. We graduated ten days ago. And for graduation, we have like a group of friends. There's six of us. And for graduation, one of the girls in the group got us all matching rings. They're just they're really pretty and they're silver and they go with like everything. And I love it. And Yay. it's perfect. And I never wear jewelry until graduation. I got this in <laughs> my necklace and I actually wear jewelry now. Yeah, so it's exciting. Yay, though. favorite. Um, th those are our favorites. Those are all of our favorites. So if you like this video, please like, thumbs up subscribe, all that stuff, and we will see you all next time. Yep, next time.